You guys are on the road how many days this year? Uh, this year, not too many, actually. We'll probably end up being about feels like 75, we, 80 Yeah, it feels like we do 75 year. or 80, 80 shows yeah. a year these days. Yeah, so. it's not, not as much as it used to be, <laughs> yes. which is great. It's nice to be uh, able to be off the road a good bit. Well, that completely ruins what I was going to talk about yeah. today. <laughs> yeah. How can I be a light? How can I be relevant? How can I speak to a world that doesn't listen, that's so dark, that doesn't care? How can I make a difference? So let's just rewind <laughs> back to when you were on the road all the time. Oh, yeah. Well, we, um, when we started out, we did, uh, the first year we did touring, we were out for about 300 days that first year not doing shows and uh, all right so let's talk about that year <laughs> <laughs> yeah well you know perseverance for us looks different now than it yeah. did because because it's uh, you know I think you can sort of learn how to get into a rhythm if you're touring uh, you know 150 200 dates a year yeah. which we've we've done for a long time but then uh, you know now we have families we have kids and wives and we're, what we're trying to do is create a balance, mm -hmm. and I think that's its own kind of work. Yeah. That's its own sort of. All right, here, here's what we do with jars of clay. Yeah. But when we get off the road, we've got a, we've got this whole other work, this yeah. whole other function as human beings and in relationships that we have to tend to. And, yeah. and so, so perseverance for us these days looks more like how do we juggle all of these things so that we're we're doing able to do each one of them yeah. very well. And, uh, and that's really hard to do. Mm -hmm. When we get to that point where we're asking that question, why are we, why are we doing this? Uh, you know, it it does a lot of times come back to the relationships. Uh, it comes back to the fact that we didn't really choose this. Mm -hmm. um, our story is very different than the way I would have written it. And so I have to trust that that there's something else, you know, with the momentum here, and it's not me. So uh, I think that's that's what I have to kind of fall back on. You know, when, when, when the music doesn't seem to connect with people yeah. in different seasons, it's it's easy to go, well, maybe we shouldn't be doing it. Yeah. Maybe we need to stop. And uh, we've had enough people kind of going, no, just, you know, get back in there, keep at it. And, yeah. and we love the creative process so much. Yeah. Yeah. We love making music and writing songs and performing. And so I think that there's, those sorts of things will keep us from, you know, from quitting. Yeah. When it gets too difficult, it has. Kept us from quitting. Maybe God has called you to something that is not easy, and you've been serving and sacrificing to the bone. First, I challenge you to be vulnerable enough to ask for help. Remember what Dan and Matt said, it is the help of others that has allowed them to persevere. And second, in the church we have a habit of being overcommitted. So I would challenge you to re-examine your level of involvement, making sure that you are exactly where God wants you. And that's what's real today. The girls and the money, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you know, and, uh, and the cars. <laughs> yeah. Um, the fast clothes, cars, the yeah. clothes. Stuff like that. Uh, jewelry. She's nice. <laughs> lots, lots of jewelry. Money. <laughs>